the next operator inside a bitwise operator is a bitwise XOR operator. This operator performs exclusive OR or we can say XOR operation on the bits of the number. This is the symbol of XOR operator which is called cap, caret or circumflex. So now let's take a simple example to understand a bitwise X or operator. So here I just opened a python shell and now I am going to implement a simple example of the of XOR operator. So for that we have to initialize some variable which is x equal to 10 and y equal to 11. After that I am going to simply apply a XOR operator between these two variables. After that I am going to simply apply a bitwise XOR operator between x and y. So for that we have to apply a caret symbol between x and y. Here we run this module we get a result which is equal to 1. So now I am going to explain you how we get the result 1 from these two variables. So here we have a two variable which is x equal to 10 and y equal to 11. So first we have to convert a integer 10 into a binary number which is equal to 0 0 0 0 and after that 1 0 and 1 0 and next we have to convert 11 integer into a binary number system which is equal to the 4 times 0 after that 1 0 and 1 1. So before doing a XOR operation between two these bits first we have to know what is a XOR operation or how a XOR operation work. So here we have expression to work with a XOR operation which is equal to z equal to a b bar plus a bar b. b bar or a bar means complement form of the bits means if you have a 1 then we and after we apply a bar on that then we get a 0 which means that bar is a complement form of the bits. So suppose we have a equal to 1 and b equal to 0. So now apply a XOR operation which is a equal to 1 so here write a after that we have a b bar so here we have a b equal to 0 so the b bar is equal to 1 so apply a multiplication sign 1 plus here we have a a bar which is equal to 1 so when we apply a bar into a a then we have a 0 after that we have a b so write as it is the value of the v. So here when we calculate this value which is equal to 1 into 1 which is equal to 1 plus 0 into 0 which is equal to 0. So finally we have z equal to 1. So here when we apply a XOR operation between 1 and 0 we get a result 1. So now let's solve these two operations. So when we apply a XOR operation between X and Y then we get a result which is equal to 0 0 0 0 and after that 0 0 0 1. So here 1 XOR 0 which is equal to 1 we get a result 1 from there 1 XOR 1 which is equal to 0. So when we apply a A equal to 1 and B equal to 1 then we get a result 0. 0 XOR 0 which is equal to 0. 1 x 0 1 which is equal to 0. After that we have a 0 0 which is equal to 0 0 and 0 0. So this is all about a bitwise XOR operator inside a bitwise operator.